we've got some new information for you tonight about that car that rolled into a retention pond with a toddler inside. That little girl survived last month's accident, but her dad died saving her. We've been investigating that incident and since we've learned that the car that she was in was on the recall list for safety defects and it was never repaired. Jenny Runovich shows us the problem that experts say should serve as a warning for all of us. Anthony Burgess sacrificed his own life to save his daughters. Jumping into this Indianapolis retention pond, though he couldn't swim, to pull three-year-old Amina out a broken window when the car she was in rolled backwards. And he did everything in his power. He took all of him <laughs> to get her out that water. Yeah. He got her out. But those heroic actions may not have been needed. The tragedy potentially prevented. Back in March, investigators said Amina somehow knocked the car's gear shift out of park. And now we've learned that car, which family says Burgess had borrowed, was under recall and had never been repaired. U.S. Department of Transportation records show two open safety recalls on the 2008 Pontiac G6. One allowed the car to shift gears without pressing the brake. The other involved a fracture of the shift cable. The car will appear to be in park, so you will have the presumption that that car is safe and locked. Well, with the way that thing is fractured, it, the car will still pull, the, you can still move that shifter back, and then that car will freewheel at that point and roll either upwards or downwards, wherever it wants to go. The service shop at Ray Skillman works to repair recalls every day. But not all drivers are checking and getting those defects fixed. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, recalls only have a 67% completion rate, meaning three out of ten vehicles go unrepaired. And that's even though a fix is always free. Every recall is at no cost to the customer. The manufacturer picks up the tab. Recalls are always about a vehicle's safety and not getting a fix. I mean, it could be catastrophic in some cases. Can lead to tragedy. Oh, it's absolutely horrible. I mean, something that could have been repaired in less than an hour, all of a sudden, this little girl no longer has a problem. So here's how to check if your car has a recall. First, find the vehicle identification number. It's right on the windshield. It's also in the driver's side door panel. Then you go online to safercar.gov. Go here and enter that VIN number. It'll let you know if there are any open recalls on your car. It is that simple. We have a link for you on WTHR.com. In this case, by the way, the family does tell me they've contacted an attorney. Scott.